Hey everyone, welcome back to Everything Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade from Mavericks to Yosemite. Much like Office 2011, Mavericks is starting to feel a little bit more antiquated with all the skeuomorphic elements that are incorporated in the operating system. So today I have decided to make the step towards Yosemite. I know my computer can run it. I will leave a link down in the description to uh, an Apple support page that lists all of the computers that are able to run OSX Yosemite with ease. So before we get started, what we want to do is download the latest version of Yosemite. And in order to do that, we just want to go here. You can either click on it here, or if it's still available, and or you can search Yosemite here, if I can find it somewhere around here. Anyway, here we are, and you just want to hit download. And depending on your internet speed, you're going to uh, experience either a fast download or a slow download. So it's all up to you on how fast you can download it. It's good if you create a separate installer, like if you make it just once and keep it because you can always have it whenever you need it. You don't need to go through all of these steps over and over and over again. I actually do have my installer. I have it right here. And I'm gonna be making a new one for you guys. So, oh yeah, and before before we continue, I just remember, please make sure you back up your hard drive or your USB accordingly, because you're gonna format it. You're gonna erase everything on it. So I don't want you guys to lose anything. It's not my responsibility if you do lose anything. And please, please do not put whatever is on your flash drive on the computer because we are learning to clean install the operating system so we don't want to drag everything here all our cat pictures into documents or wherever you guys put them and end up erasing them anyway so if you do have a separate computer put them on there if you have a separate flash drive put them on that flash drive and put it aside so you don't get confused later on all right now we can get to it so we just want to open our loop here disk utility it's already there I formatted my drive before we got started in order to make sure I had a clean flash drive. So you just want to click here, USB, and we're going to erase it. We're going to be calling it Mac OS Extended Journal, calling it Yosemite. Yosemite. You can call it anything you want, but in the command line, which I have here, you can name it whatever you want right here after minus minus volume forward slash volumes forward slash, and here you can name it whatever you want or whatever name you put on your flash drive and it'll work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this just to have it on hand. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna copy. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this so it's out of the way. Here is our our um, disk utility. So here we're calling it Yosemite and we're gonna go ahead and hit erase. And it starts unmounting our disk, formatting it and renaming it Yosemite. Make sure it is ready for our installer so uh, I'll be back when this is complete. Our disk is now complete. It is completely formatted. Hopefully you guys by now got all your things out because it's empty. Completely empty. And now what we want to do is look for terminal. Here is terminal. And here is our terminal. Of course, our last login was at 8.33 in the morning and it's 8.43, so 10 minutes ago. That gives us sort of an idea, but just look at the time here. It's 8.43 when I'm starting the process. Here it is. It's asking me for my password, so I put that in and it starts erasing disk. Why I'm telling you guys to check on the time is because many people thought that their computer was hanging during the creation of the disk. So I'm just letting you guys know to check the time so when we come back you guys see how much of a time difference so you guys can relate to it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now. I'll be back once the drive is complete. Alright so we're back and it took roughly about 20 minutes to complete and the, the speed of your installation might depend on the hard, hard drive that you have and the transfer speeds between your USB and your computer. So keep that in mind when uploading it or when when making your bootable drive just if it takes longer than an hour then you really have a problem so as long as it doesn't take longer than an hour you should be fine so I'm gonna do this the old school method bring out my tripod and camera and take it from there because of course I cannot screen capture during the installation I'll see you guys there all right so here's our computer ready to uh, install Yosemite on it so what we want to do is go up to the Apple like I showed you and just hit restart and when you hit restart, wait for the black screen. Once you hear the chime, hold the option button, which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart. Finger on standby. 
not pressing the button. I'm not going to press it so I don't confuse you guys. I'm not going to put my finger on it. As soon as I hear the chime, I'm pressing that button. So it's sort of like a race on your mark, get set, go. So there's a black screen. There's a chime. Hold down the option button and just hold it down until something happens. And there you go. This is the screen you should see. So I'm going to get in closer for you guys so you guys can see better. So as you can see here, it says Macintosh HD Recovery 10.9.5 and Install OS X Yosemite. Right away, you guys know you're supposed to do OS X Yosemite, but if you guys want to go back to Mavericks and don't have Mavericks, you guys can click this and it'll go right into the installer for Mavericks, but we're going to be doing Yosemite, so we click on Yosemite. As soon as you click on the installer we just created, you get this little Apple logo with the progress bar, so all you have to do is wait until that progress bar fills up. So this is the first screen that we get right after our Apple progress bar and the first menu option is to restore from a time machine backup in case you do have a backup, which we do not. Install OS X means that it'll, it'll wipe out Mavericks and install Yosemite, but it will keep all of your documents there. You can do that, but I don't really like doing that because sometimes old operating systems leave back things that you really don't need and it just takes up hard drive space. Get help online in case you want to get help on t like which which um, method you want to choose to install and of course disk utility which is what we're going to be using so we're gonna go ahead and access disk utility we click that and wait for it to load so here is disk utility and what we want to look for is right up here and as you can see there is our 256 gig Apple SSD formatted to 251 for some reason and right under it is our Macintosh HD and here is our 32 gigabyte SanDisk Cruiser. You really don't want to touch this because this is where your installer is and you really don't want to erase your installer right now as your computer is completely wiped clean of anything. As well as these bottom ones, you really don't want to touch these because these are system disks that the system needs in order to operate. So what we want to do is click on Macintosh HD and once we're here we just want to go to Erase. I'm going to go ahead and get a little wide for you guys. There's some info there again that can help you how to format it. So we just want to keep it at Mac Macintosh HD. And I'll write a little lower, you guys can see there is an erase button, so we just hit erase. And this prompt window asks us, are you sure you want to erase? And yes, I do want to erase. And down below a progress bar, and then it shows you the capacity of your drive. 250 gigs, available is 249, so it's really not a 256 gig SSD, technically. And so, now that our hard drive is, is wiped clean, what we want to do next is just close Disk Utility. And then click on Install OS X. This will clean install your OS X. Now you're clean installing because there's literally nothing on your hard drive. So I just want to click on that, if I can get it to work. And there we go, Yosemite. Click Continue. If you agree to the terms and conditions, I do agree. And yes, I did read these before. There's some pretty funny stuff in there, although they do take it with a lot of seriousness. Then you pick your hard drive that you want to install it on. Of course, you're not going to install it on this one because that's your installer. So we just hit install and wait for it to install. Now, after your computer is done and preparing the computer for the installation, you will get this apple with the progress bar. Just wait for the progress bar to complete and you will get another window in which you will be installing the operating system. I'll see you guys then. After we get past the Apple logo with the progress bar, we are going to install Mac OS Yosemite on our hard drive. Once you finish installation, you're going to get this window saying that you need to restart in order to complete the installation. So all we have to do is hit the restart button and wait for the computer to restart. We just came back from the boot screen, so all we have to do now is pick our location. Here is the United States, depending on where you're from, Canada, the UK, Australia, wherever you're from, you pick here. Of course, I am in the United States, so we click United States, continue, and you pick your keyboard. You can select the Canadian, Colomac, Dvorak, QWERTY, I'm going to pick US, and I'm going to pick my Wi-Fi, so I'll be back once I put this in. Now here it asks you if you want to transfer information to this Mac, depending on whether you have a Time Machine backup or a backup hard drive. 
or you want to transfer all your stuff from a Windows PC, whether it's a, win a new Windows, uh, you, you're coming from Windows basically, you want to transfer all your documents over. I'm going to keep don't transfer any information now because we're doing a clean install. And anytime you want to do a clean install, you just pick don't transfer any information. Unless you really want to, then you pick any one of these two options your choice and then you sign in with your Apple ID I'll be back once I do this so I just put in my uh, email and password and now it's asking me if I want iCloud to use the location of this Mac in find my Mac in case it get lost I'm gonna put OK and the terms and conditions I've already read before of course and just hit agree and then again you want to agree and then here you want to if you want to use your iCloud account to sign into your computer you can always click this but I don't want to use it I'm gonna go ahead and name my computer. Now that I named my computer, let's pick a picture. I like picking the owl because it's the animal related to intelligence and knowledge. Pick my password, of course I'll be right back after this. Now I can always uh, use my Apple ID to reset the password. I'd like to keep it that way because I always use my Apple ID in case I stop using my computer for whatever reason and forget the password. And set my time zone based on my current location. So we're just gonna hit continue and it starts creating my own account of course this is a administrator level account that you're making so you get administrator privileges and I don't want to set up iCloud Keychain you can if you so choose and I'm not gonna do it now so I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue I'm going to encrypt my file disk with a file vault disk encryption so yes and I do want to send my diagnostics because that's how you make the OS better and it starts setting up my Mac and as soon as the third one goes in, you're good. Let me just zoom out a little so you guys can get a glimpse of what Yosemite will look like as soon as this is done. So there you have it. We installed Yosemite on this computer. It's uh, 10, 1044 AM, so it gives you sort of an idea as to how long it took. We technically started at 9. 44 so it took roughly about an hour to do so yeah please do make sure you have enough time to do this as this is a lengthy process now all i have left to do is just install all my programs and i'm all set thank you guys for watching please do consider subscribing like this video if it helped and see you guys in the next video